Criminal Minds has long been a staple for fans of crime procedural dramas, known for its intense storytelling and deep psychological exploration. Entering its 11th season, this series continued to delve into the minds of the most twisted criminals, while also exploring the personal lives and challenges faced by the members of the Behavioral Analysis Unit. <laughs> Season 11 originally aired from 2015 to 2016 and brought some significant changes to the team's lineup and presented new challenges that teased their resilience and unity. Season 11 continued the series' long-standing tradition of delving into complex criminal psychology interlaced with the personal and professional dynamics of the BAU. This season marked a significant transition to the team's composition, most notably with the departure of Kate Callahan and the Introduction of Dr. Tara Lewis. Dr. Lewis, a forensic psychologist, brought a unique perspective to the team, her expertise adding depth to the BAU's criminal profiling capabilities. The season unfolded across 22 episodes, each presenting a new case that pushed the boundaries of psychological thriller storytelling. One of the central arcs of the season was the Dirty Dozen storyline, a gripping narrative that introduced a network of hitmen and presented the BAU with one of their most challenging adversaries yet. This overarching plot not only showcased the team's analytical skills, but also their resilience in the face of a seemingly insurmountable threat. In addition to the overarching plots, Season 11 continued to explore the individual stories of the main characters. Aaron Hotchner faced new challenges as a leader, balancing the uh, pressures of his professional responsibilities with his personal life as a single father. Spencer Reed continued to provide the intellectual backbone for the team's investigations, while grappling with personal demons and the emotional impact of his mother's schizophrenia. Jennifer Jarreau explored the complexities of being a working mother in a high-stress job. Penelope Garcia remained the team's moral compass and technical expert, her bright demeanor often providing a counterpoint to the dark themes of their work. The dynamics between the team members evolved significantly in Season 11 with the arrival of Dr. Lewis, challenging and ultimately strengthening the group's camaraderie. Her character was skillfully woven into the narrative, providing fresh perspectives on cases and creating new interpersonal dynamics with the team. This season also saw David Rossi delve into his past, providing viewers with a deeper understanding of his character's motivations and history. Visually, Season 11 maintained the high production values typical of Criminal Minds. The cinematography and direction continued to effectively convey the intensity and suspense inherent in the season series. Excuse me. Use of lighting, camera angles, and music contributed to the creation of palpable tension that is a hallmark of the show. The season was not without its controversial moments, such as the departure of a long-standing character, and some plot lines that pushed the boundaries of the show's usual narrative style. These elements elicited mixed reactions from the audience and critics, highlighting the challenges inherent in keeping a long-running series fresh and engaging. Overall, Season 11 of Criminal Minds stood as a testament to the show's ability to evolve while staying true to its core themes. It explored the depths of human psychology and the complexities of social relationships, all while delivering the thrilling and thought-provoking storytelling that fans had come to expect. The season's blend of new character dynamics, challenging cases, and personal story arcs made it a compelling addition to the Criminal Minds saga, setting the stage for future developments in the series. In Season 11 of Criminal Minds, each episode uniquely contributed to the overall narrative while presenting its own self-contained story. The season excelled in delivering a mix of psychologically complex cases, each challenging the BAU team in different ways. So we're going to dive into some key episodes that were particularly impactful or representative of the season's themes. Starting off with, of course, Episode 1, The Job, the season opener set the tone for what was to come and introduced a new adversary serial killer with a penchant for leaving distinctive marks on his victim. This episode is notable for seamlessly integrating Dr. Tara Lewis into the team, showcasing her expertise in forensic psychology. It also laid the groundwork for the season's overarching Dirty Dozen storyline. Then we jump over to episode 4, Outlaw. This episode stood out for its exploration of the theme of redemption and the consequences of past actions. The team investigates a series of murders connected to a former gang member's attempt at reforming his life. It was a poignant reminder of how the past can often catch up with individuals, regardless of their efforts to change. And then we hop over to episode 11, 
Entropy. Arguably one of the most intense episodes of the season. Entropy brought the Dirty Dozen arc to the forefront. Dr. Reed's strategic mind games with an assassin from the network provided a thrilling cat and mouse dynamic, showcasing both Reed's intellectual prowess and the emotional toll such cases take on him. Then episode 12, Drive. This episode was a chilling exploration of the human psyche, featuring a killer who targets victims based on their car service ratings. It was a pertinent commentary on the modern obsession with social media and public perception, wrapped in a tense and engaging narrative. Then episode 18, A Beautiful Disaster. Epi uh, marking a pivotal moment in the season, this episode was emotionally charged and action-packed. It revolved around a deep around a personal crisis for one of the team members, blending intense action sequences with deep emotional moments, showcasing the team's solidarity and strength in the face of personal advers adversity. And then finally, episode 22. The season finale was a high-stakes episode that combined the personal and professional challenges faced by the BAU team, with multiple plot threads converging, including the Dirty Dozen storyline and individual character arcs, set up a cliffhanger that left audiences eagerly anticipating the next season. Before we move on to our further review of Criminal Minds Season 11, we'd like to thank our sponsor, ExpressVPN. I'm just like you, a lover of freedom and privacy on the internet. That's why I use ExpressVPN. Every time I go online, I know my data is safe and encrypted. With just one click, I can access content from around the world, no matter where I am. Whether it's streaming my favorite shows or protecting my personal information, ExpressVPN is my go-to solution. It's fast, secure, and incredibly easy to use. Join me and take back your internet freedom with ExpressVPN today. Use the link in the description and sign up today. And now, let's continue our review of Season 11. Season 11 of Criminal Minds not only continued its exploration of complex criminal cases, but also delved deeper into the personal lives and psychological landscapes of its central characters. This season stood out for its nuanced approach to character development, offering viewers a more intimate look at the BAU team members, struggles, growth, and interpersonal dynamics. Dr. Tara Lewis, played by Aisha Taylor. Dr. Lewis's introduction was a highlight of the season. As a forensic psychologist, she brought a fresh perspective to the team's profiling process. Her character was skillfully developed, showcasing her as a strong, intelligent, and empathetic individual. Her reactions with the team, particularly Reed, provided new dynamics and breathed fresh life into the group's chemistry. Lewis's backstory involving her brother's mental health issues added depth to her character making her more relatable and integral to the team. Then we have Aaron Hotchner. Hotchner's role as the BAU unit chief continued to be challenged in various ways throughout the season. His leadership was tested both by the complexities of the cases and by the changes within his team. This season added layers to Hotchner's character, revealing his vulnerabilities as a father in his struggles to maintain a balance between his demanding job and personal life. His protective nature, especially towards his team, was more pronounced, highlighting his role not just as a leader, but as a father figure within the BAU, Spencer Reed. Reed's character arc in season 11 was particularly poignant. His intellectual brilliance continued to be a focal point, but it was an emotional journey that stood out. The season delved deeper into Reed's personal life, particularly with his mother's deteriorating health and his fears about inheriting her schizophrenia. These storylines allowed for a deeper, deeper exploration of Reed's vulnerabilities, making him a more three-dimensional character. JJ's development as a character took on new dimensions as she juggled her roles as a profiler and a mother. Her maternal instincts often mirrored her approach to cases, showcasing her empathy and determination. The season also explored the emotional toll her job took on her, especially in situations involving children, adding a layer of complexity to her character. Penelope Garcia. Garcia remained the emotional heart of the team. Her quirky and vibrant personality often provided light in the show's dark moments. However, season 11 allowed for a deeper look into Garcia's psyche, particularly her struggles with the moral dilemmas poised, posed by their work. Her relationship with the team, especially with Morgan, continued to be a focal point, highlighting the strong bonds within the BAU. David Rossi. Rossi's character was further explored through flashbacks and references to his past. 
uh, providing insight into his motivations as a profiler. His mentor-like presence in the team and his sage advice often helped in resolving complex cases in team dynamics. Season 11 of Criminal Minds was rich in thematic content, exploring a range of profound and often challenging concepts. The show has always been adept at weaving intricate themes into its narratives, and this season was no exception. The primary themes of this season included the nature of evil, the psychological impact of trauma, and the importance of family, both biological and chosen. A central theme of Criminal Minds is the exploration of evil, and was particularly nuanced in this season. Through various cases, the show delved into the origins of criminal behavior, questioning whether evil is born or made. Episodes like The Night Watch and Priorville offered insights into the minds of criminals, presenting a complex picture, their motivations, and backgrounds. This theme was not just limited to the unsubs, but also extended to the personal struggles of the BAU members as they, gra as they grappled with the moral ambiguities of their work. And then you also have psychological impact of trauma. Season 11 frequently returned to the theme of trauma and its lasting effects. Characters like Reed and Lewis dealt with personal traumas, while the victims in the cases often displayed the long-term effects of their experiences. This theme was thoughtfully explored, highlighting the show's commitment to psychological realism and empathy for those affected by crime. And then you have the importance of family. The concept of family, both by blood and by choice, was a recurring motif. The BAU team's bond was portrayed as familial, with members supporting each other through personal and professional challenges. Episodes like Target Rich and A Beautiful Disaster underscored the importance of this support system. Additionally, several episodes dealt with the impact of familial relationships on criminal behavior, showing how family dynamics can shape an individual's path. Season 11 Criminal Minds stood out not only for its compelling storytelling and character development, but also for its high caliber production and direction. The season maintained the series reputation for quality, with several aspects of production and direction contributing significantly to the overall impact of the show. The cinematography in season 11 was particularly noteworthy. The use of lighting and camera angles played a crucial role in setting the mood and tone of each episode. Darker, more, more subdued lighting was often employed to enhance the suspense and gravity of the criminal investigations. The camera work was dynamic, using a mix of tight close-ups and wide shots to convey both the intensity of the character's experience and the scope of the crimes they were investigating. This visual style effectively immersed viewers in the psychological drama unfolding on screen. The directors of season 11 skillfully balanced the pacing of the episodes, ensuring that each case unfolded with the tension that kept viewers engaged. The season managed to weave the individual episode stories with the overarching narrative arc seamlessly a testament to the director's expertise. Key episodes such as Entropy and The Storm showcased particularly strong direction with a tight narrative structure that heightened the emotional and suspenseful impact. The sound design and musical scoring at season 11 enhanced the viewing experience. The music was carefully selected to match the tone of each scene, ranging from subtle intense to more dramatic and foreboding compositions during key moments. The sound effects added a layer of realism to the crime scenes and investigative sequences contributing to the overall immersive quality of the show. Season 11 of Criminal Minds received a varied response from critics and audiences, reflecting the show's evolution and its attempt to balance established themes with new elements. The season's critical reception was a mix of praise for its consistent quality in storytelling and performances, along with some critiques regarding the series' formulaic aspects and character departures. The introduction of Dr. Lewis was well received by many, with critics and fans uh, praising Aisha Tyler's performance and the fresh dynamic her character brought to the BAU team. However, the departure of long-standing characters, including Kate Callahan, left some fans feeling unsettled, indicating a preference for the show's original cast configuration. Critics acknowledged the series' continued strength in delivering psychologically complex narrative. Season 11 was commended for its thematic exploration, particularly in how it handled topics like the nature of evil and the psychological impacts of trauma. Comparisons to previous seasons, when compared to earlier seasons, some critics felt that season 11 managed to maintain the series' high standards, while others felt that it short, uh, fell short in terms of innovativeness. The balance between procedural elements and character development remained a point of contention, with some critics arguing that the series could benefit from, most, from more character 
focused storytelling. In terms of rating, season 11 performed solidly though. It did see a slight dip compared to some of the series' peak seasons. This was attributed to the natural ebb and flow of long-running series viewership, as well as the intense competition in the te television landscape. As the curtain falls on season 11, it leaves behind a complex tapestry of psychological intrigue, character development, and thematic richness. This season, while navigating the challenges, a long-running series managed to retain the core essence and has made Criminal Minds a staple in the crime procedural genre. And now, if you want to support the channel, consider buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash cinemagoal. Of course, if you can't afford to financially support us, just give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, bell notification button to be notified of future videos. And let us know your thoughts on Criminal Minds Season 11 in the comments section below. Now, as always, thank you so much for watching and listening. We'll see.